Hi, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today you want to talk about Parkinson's, uh, you know, basically kind of what it is. Right. And, A little, uh, little history, brief history, and uh, demonstrate the common symptoms. Sure. And what it looks like, and then how to treat it. So, first of all, Parkinson's, they've known about it for years. Uh, Dr. James Parkinson in uh, 1817. Uh, English doctor uh, discovered it and did some. Uh, These things are always named after somebody. Yeah, they? they did. So he did uh, some writings on it, some studies on it that has been documented. And what it is, it's a degenerative disorder of the nervous system, the central nervous system. Uh, they do not know for sure what causes it. There are some theories. I'm not going to get into that, but basically, it's idiopathic, or they don't know uh, what causes What's the it. Cause. Mm -hmm. Symptoms. The most significant symptoms on onset are typically shaking, uh, rigidity, in other words, real stiffness in the arms or the legs, oftentimes it's in the legs, uh, slow movement, flex forward posture, and I'll show you a little more uh, examples of that one, in just a minute. One case where we, I always talk about pill rolling. The sure. Hand, the hands start to, it looks like they're rolling a pill, yeah. but they're actually just getting some um, rigidity, I mean not rigidity, some spasticity on right, the right there. Right, right, exactly. So the other thing is they have what they call a paucity of movement, which means they really have difficulty initiating movement. Right. Have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite, a quite, lot. quite often we'll have a patient that they'll come to a doorway and they stop walking and they just can't, they, because they have to think about going through the door, they just can't do it. Right, so, right. Their mind is doing it, but the body isn't. The body's not reacting. Right, right. Typically people 50 and over, uh, people everyone knows, Michael J. Fox, sure. I think that's pretty not commonly known. Muhammad Ali got Remember Parkinson's. Michael J. Fox said his started in his little ring finger, a little shaking, sure. and he couldn't stop it, and he, and he couldn't figure out yeah. what it was. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate. I just, uh, just was working with a gentleman with this, and that's why I wanted to make this film. It kind of reminded me of that, and I thought there's a lot of people that aren't sure, and they're wondering if... A relative has it because they're seeing some of these symptoms. Right. With walking, uh, they'll get up and uh, the person may need a cane already. In this case, this gentleman did. But oftentimes, it's a flex forward posture, one of the symptoms. And then, like Bob had said, just to get started, they'll kind of want to go and then they won't go. And, and then finally, things will get going. It'll be short, choppy steps. But oftentimes, after they get moving about 20 feet or so, It'll smoothen fine, out, right. and they're doing well. Then they look relatively normal exactly. again. And their balance often isn't bad once right. they get started. It, it is amazing because at first, and, and oftentimes when they have to turn, make a sharp turn, and you'll see one leg sometimes will do more like this, will start to turn, and that, that leg will just be like it's glued yeah. to the floor. It, it seems like any time they have to make a decision, right? You know, once it's rolling and it's automatic, yep. they, they, then it's not a problem. Sure. Um, and oftentimes what you can do is verbal cues or say, take bigger steps, slow down and take bigger steps, lift your feet off the floor. And sometimes that's enough to help them get going into right. that rhythm. Um, exactly. And as far as other treatments, typically, you know, you got to keep the person safe. If they're going to need a cane, fine. Oftentimes right. a walker. They do make some very expensive walkers that has a laser light on it for a visual right. cue. Uh, that's something that it also has a beeping sound on it. I don't know. Right There's for audio, audio sound. cue, yeah. yeah. And those those do help. Right, I, I, we've used one. Do you know how much they cost? Roughly, they're a lot. Yeah, yeah they're right they're not there. cheap. I I don't see a lot of people with them at all. Um, Usually paid for by insurance. Or right, because they're so expensive. So if you have some conservative treatment that you can do or you can. Uh, uh, purchase. We're going to go through one that you can do with someone else. Is just simple stretching. Right. Um, because the, because they're rigid, the muscles tend to tighten up on yep. them, and then when they tighten up, it makes the rigidity even worse. Right. And the other, the other thing we should, I should say real quickly, Brad, is that there is a lot of uh, neurological diseases that that aren't Parkinson's but act like Parkinson's. Yep. Sure. And there's a lot of them that uh, I've had people where they just didn't even diagnose. Um, sure. And there's also medications that'll make you get Parkinson-like symptoms. Sure. So right. You have to worry about that. Yeah. So this is something you really probably you need to get it to the medical community right, and get obviously. some expert opinion. So. Uh, for treatment on stretching, oftentimes it's a calf muscle or hamstrings are tight. So you're gonna do this. I like to stretch it like this and 
dorsiflex, we call it, or stretch the ankle. Or he's got his forearm up this up way. My, the bottom of my foot, or he's got, yeah. And uh, sometimes you may have to hold it and stretch pretty hard, and you know you don't want to have any pain. But t typically, it won't be painful. They say, oh, it feels like a you know a good stretch, and you're going to hold it sometimes for 30 seconds to a minute. You're going to get a little bit tired, and you know that's just part of it. Right. Hamstrings. If you come up to here and the knee doesn't straighten out, you have a tight hamstring. Oh. There. You may have to have a hand here and stretch it out slowly. If you sit down and the knee goes straight out like this, You're doing you, pretty well. you probably don't have to spend much time on the hamstring. Right. Uh, and the same goes with the, with the arms. I'm just talking about the legs because we're referring to gait in this uh, video. You know, the, their chest is going to get tight. Their muscles are going to get tight. They're all getting pulled over. So the hallelujah stretch would be a good oh, one for sure. them. Oh, sure, in a seated so, position. Yep, so they're, they're sitting down. And they're going to lift way up and get real large <laughs> trying to, for a good stretch. Okay. So uh, another thing is that circular motion of a bicycle. And you're not going to use a, you're going to use a, a recumbent you bike. Or you can get one of these device is called a restorator. You can pick these up for around $50, Mind just holding that less or minus. Up. Now, they oftentimes have these loops in there, and it's, sometimes it's hard to get your feet in there, so you don't always have to do that, but whatever, just get the person in there so that you can yeah, this get this motion. This works great for reciprocal movement. So right. you're, you're working one and the other, and just it's really a great one to break up the rigidity of Parkinson's. Right. And you know it's one they can do while they're watching TV, it's so, and, and this is obviously a lightweight thing that you could put you know nearly anywhere. Right. So it's just an easy, no excuse system for getting some exercise. Yep. Easy, not uh, too expensive. You can go and buy a, a recumbent bike as a chair and a bicycle. You know, if you want to spend that much money, that's a, a real good idea as well. So you want to keep things stretched out. You want to keep things moving. I mean, that's that's the key with with Parkinson's. You know, it it's very easy to fall into that. Uh, rigidity and tightness, and, and, and then suddenly it gets to the point where you can't go back from that anymore. Right. So, right. so once again, Bob, we've got some more information helpful for these people that are going to carry them out with their families and themselves right. to be more flexible, more vibrant. Aren't we great? Oh, <laughs> subscribe. Strong like both. Strong like both. You can subscribe. <laughs> subscribe yeah. with us as well. Thank you. Take care.